game. Let's find out right now. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. More than 300 game shows have come and gone since Jeopardy premiered in syndication in 1984. All right, cool. This is Jeopardy! Please welcome our contestants. Player one. Player two. Player three. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Hey, Johnny, thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to work in the Jeopardy round. The categories for the Jeopardy round are official state things. In the bookstore, Odd words, mm. math, okay. meet the Robinsons, <laughs> and American history. We'll start American history 200. Player one. After General Cornwallis surrendered at Yorktown, this American traitor accompanied him back to England. Who is Benedict Arnold? Player one. Use the Wii remote or press the corresponding. Woo! Right, you are. We return to you. In 1898, Americans were urged to remember the battleship named for this state. It sank in Havana Harbor. What is the main? Okay, player one. Remember the main. Good. <laughs> you get to pick again. This January 1st, 1863 document liberated all slaves in regions still under Confederate control. What is the Emancipation Proclamation? It's player one. Woo yes. Please. The New Deal refers to the economic recovery and social reforms implemented by this U.S. president. Who is Franklin Delano Roosevelt? Yes, player one. <laughs> right. You again, player one. In 1609, this captain was injured in a gunpowder explosion and lost his leadership role in Jamestown. Who is John? It's player one. Yeah, good. Select again. Uh, how about in the bookstore for 200? Fever, 1793, depicts a teen struggle during the 1793 epidemic of this colorful fever in Philadelphia. What is yellow fever? Let's hear it, player one. Spot Scarlet Fever, more for yellow fever. Right. Wow! Player one. Ahab's wife tells a whale of a tale about a character mentioned briefly in this classic novel. What is Moby Dick? Player one. Yeah. That is correct. <laughs> Player one. Hope Was Here is a book about a teen waitress at the Welcome Stairways Diner in this dairy state. What is Wisconsin? Okay, player one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Player one. Yeah! It's the Daily Double. And you have the lead. Here is your Daily Double clue. Take a bite out of the Vampire Armand, the sixth book in her Vampire Chronicles. I'm going for who is Anne Rock. That puts you even further ahead. Player one. A secret code called Nu Shu is pivotal to the plot of Snowflower and the Secret Fan, set in this country. What is China? Yes, player one. Good. We return to you. 66 plus 32. What is 98? Player one. Woo! Hey, you're right. You again, player one. 73 minus 14. What is 59? Yes, player one. <laughs> that is correct. Select again. 148 divided by 4. Uh, what is... Let's hear it, player one. 37. Yeah! 
Correct. Choose again, player one. 17 times six. What is 102? It's player one. Yes. Player one, you pick again. 23 plus eight, minus 16. Okay, player one. Good for you. Player one. In 1947, he shattered baseball's color line. Who is Jackie Robinson? Yes, player one. Yeah. You are correct. Please pick again. Like a famous mister of song, it was the nickname of tap dancer Bill Robinson. Like Let's hear it, player one. You got it. Player one. This Motown legend co-wrote My Girl and Tears of a Clown. Who is Smokey Robinson? Player one. That's yeah. right. Way to go. You get to pick a... In 1951, he defeated Jake LaMotta to become middleweight boxing champ. Who is Sugar Ray Robinson? It's player one. That's correct. Player one. Emmanuel Goldenberg was the real name of the Robinson who used this first name on the stage. Okay. Okay, player one. What is, um, okay, uh, it's not Engelbert. Uh, either Edward or Eric. I'm going to say who is Edward. That's correct. Onward. Player one. Pick Dumbledore is actually an old word for this insect. J.K. Rowling imagined him humming all the time. What's a bumblebee? Yes, player one. Yeah! Right. <laughs> player one. The name of this light, crinkled fabric comes from the Persian shur or shakar, meaning milk and sugar. What a seersucker. Okay, player one. Yeah! Correct. Choose again, player The one. fact that clavate means shaped like this isn't something you have to hit me over the head with. <laughs> it's player one. I would say what is a, a clavate? It's either a club or a bat. Or it's not a stick. Uh, I would say a... Or I'll say what's a... Uh, I'll say what's a bat. Sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's the response we were looking for. A club. Oh well, it's okay. Keep going. Please pick again. Too much time enjoying potent potables? You could end up with a Katzenjammer. One of these. What's a hangover? Player one? <laughs> Yes. You get to pick a... Robinsonade is not a refreshing drink. It's a novel similar in theme to a work by this author. It was Daniel Defoe. Let's hear it, player one. That is correct. We return to you. It reigns as West Virginia's official state butterfly. What is a monarch? Yes, player one. Right. <laughs> Player one. When Virginia got a state one of these animals, the governor's office released a poem that mentioned Adam West. What's a bat? Okay. Player one. <laughs> That's it. You again. Player one. Sounds scary, but Colorado's official state fish is the greenback cutthroat type of this. It's player one. What is trout? Yes. yes. Select again. The syringa, also known as the mock orange, is Idaho's official state this. Sounds like the state flower. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. Hey, you're right. Here's the thousand dollar clue for you. Appropriately, the official state cantata of Connecticut has this spicy name. What is nutmeg? 
Player one? That's correct. Player two is going first in double jeopardy when we come back following this. And we have two daily doubles awaiting you in these categories. Statues. It all adds up. Book titles. Movie folk. USA Today's memorable quote makers. And conjunction junction. What's your function? Hey, it's still anyone's game and player two. You get to select first. The sower atop Nebraska's state capital in this city is tossing seeds to the Great Plains 400 feet below. What is Lincoln? Let's hear it, player one. Woo! You got it. Player one. Blue Earth, Minnesota has a definitely giant 55-foot statue of this pea pusher. What, who's the Jolly Green Giant? Okay, player one. Yeah. That's correct. <laughs> player one. Pick a Sam Houston stands 67 feet tall along Interstate 45 in this state. I better get this. What is Texas? Player one. That is correct. <laughs> Player one. And I'll hand it off to Kelly. A statue of this discoverer of Florida stands near the street named for him in St. Augustine. Who is? It's Player one. Good. <laughs> Choose again, player in one. In 2003, a statue of this man was pulled down just a year after it had gone up to mark his 65th birthday. That man, he would have been born in 1936. Yes, player one. So I will say, who is, um, I'll say who is Saddam Hussein. Right. <laughs> we return to you, Total player one. Hemingway got the title for this 1926 novel from Ecclesiastes. Player one? What is... Um, it's about parallel with arms. Uh, the sun also rises. I'll say what is the sun also rises. You are correct. <laughs> Player one? Ba Dickens, let's see. Martin Sweetledo? No. Martin Sweetleback? No, I've got it. Martin this. What is Chuzzlewit? Okay, player one. <laughs> yes. Please pick again. Shakespeare's Sonnet 30 says, I summon up this, which became the title of a Proust work. It's player one. Uh, I summon up Remembrance of Things Past. Yep. <laughs> You again, player one. Faulkner was using Dark House as a novel title, but there was something about the light in this month. Let's hear it, player one. What is... Uh, looks like it's April. I'll say what is uh, August. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> you get to pick again, player one. James Jones considered Old Soldiers Never Die as a title for his World War II novel, but settled on this from a Kipling line. Yes, player one. What is uh, From Here to Eternity? Right. <laughs> player one, back to you. This two-letter word is also a Pacific Northwest State's postal abbreviation. Let's hear it, player one. For organ. Woo! Yeah, good. Select again. This conjunction comes before rain, heat, and gloom of night in the United States Postal Service credo. What is nor? It's player one. Yeah! That's right. Way to go. Player one. Take away an eye from the end of a fabled Himalayan creature and you get this conjunction. What is yet? Yes, player one. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> Select again. This three-letter conjunction is commonly replaced by a symbol in Jeopardy clues. What is and? Player one. Whoa! Right you are. 
You get to pick again, player one. And <laughs> the first of the two daily doubles. You are in the lead right now. What will it be? Okay, here is the clue. This conjunction is also the symbol for a poisonous element. What is A as? A as S. Congratulations, you're still in first, player one. Please pick again, no, player one. It's seven plus seven plus seven plus seven plus eight. What is 36? Okay, player one. <laughs> Correct. Player one. Three plus 53 plus 100 plus 153 equals this. What is 309? Let's hear it, player one. Good. <laughs> You again, player one. 1,012 plus 255 plus 11 equals this. What is 1,250? Yes, player one. Ooh. Yes. Choose again, player one. Ooh. Answer. The second daily double. And you're in the lead now. How much? And the clue. 144 plus 244 plus 344 equals this. So that'd be 388 when you have 344, that is 732. That puts you even further ahead. Player one. 1144 plus 1793 equals this. What is 1937? Okay, player one. Player one, rejected by USC Film School, this S in DreamWorks SKG now sits on the film school's board of counselors. Who is Steven Spielberg? Player one. Good. <laughs> we return to Jerry Maguire was originally written for Tom, not Cruz, but him. I'll say it was Tom Hanks. It's player one. Player one, he majored in journalism at Fordham before playing a newspaper reporter in the Pelican Brief. Who is Denzel Washington? Yes, player one. Oh, oh. Hey, you're right. Please pick again. This actor got his name by giving his mom a fetal kick while she viewed a Da Vinci work. Who is Leonardo DiCaprio? Let's hear it, player one. Woo. That is correct. Select again. To get orc war screams for the Lord of the Rings, this director put phonetic yells on a scoreboard for 25,000 cricket fans. Who is Peter Jackson? Okay, player one. Right. That's it. <laughs> player one. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Who is George Player one. Any other takers? It was the other one. The other computer player is going to try this one? Here's the correct response. Ronald Reagan. Oh, okay. That's all right. Player one. It takes a village to raise a child. It takes a village to raise a child. Those are it's player one. The one who said it takes a village to raise a child, um, that would have to be Hillary Clinton. Yes. We return to you, player People, one. I just want to say, you know, can we all get along? Let's hear it, player one. Who is... People, I just want to say, you know, can we all get along? Uh, I'm going to go for who is Rodney King. That's correct. <laughs> player one. Keep hope alive. It's player one. Sorry. Anyone else? Uh, Bowie. All right. That's okay. Computer players don't want to give it a try. Well, one of them's going home. Here is what we wanted. Jesse Jackson. Jesse Jackson. Okay, last one. And now the $2,000 clue. How do we know when irrational exuberance has unduly escalated asset values? Good question. 
Okay, player one. I will say, who is Alan Greenspan? That's right, way to go. Sorry folks, but only player one has the positive score needed to go on to Final Jeopardy. We're back. The category for Final Jeopardy today is the 50 states. I'm going to wager everything but a buck. You need to select your wager. Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. Let's take a look at that Final Jeopardy clue right now. It was the only state physically and politically formed directly because of the Civil War. Your response? West Virginia, and I hope I'm right. How yeah! much do you add to your total with that correct response? So I almost doubled my winnings, and I ended up with a final total of 319199 yeah! Congratulations, player one. You're the winner. We'll see you next time.